I myself personally have wanted to do a value-based Irish whiskey video for pff, ages now at this point. And uh, with the run up to Christmas, I couldn't think of actually a better time to get this done than today. Coming your way today is my personal top 10 Irish whiskies that won't break the bank this Christmas. These should always be on your shelf, regardless of whether it's Christmas, Thanksgiving, you get where I'm going with this. Let's drink some value whiskies. Welcome to Whiskey and Whiskey. I'm the Whiskey Chaser Brian here in Christie's Bar, Kilkenny. I hope you're keeping well. So a couple of things before we kick off. Firstly, how did I choose the whiskies for this video today? A few bits of criteria that they each had to meet. Firstly, and non-negotiably, the price. It had to be under 35 euro. Crucial, because I don't think anything, anyway, it doesn't matter what I think at that point, but um, at the time of recording this video, all the whiskies that I'm talking about today were just at 35 euros or under. Secondly, I've had to drink them recently and even review them up to recently. Uh, no point in me kind of recommending a whiskey I haven't had just because it's under 35 euros. Thirdly, they had to be readily available, somewhat, or easily accessible, uh, somewhat. For my Irish fans, you will certainly get most, if not all of these with uh, general ease. Not so much with my American friends, I apologize for that. Um, you'll have to put them on your Irish whiskey wish list and uh, next time you come to Ireland, you'll just have to try and get them yourselves. Apologies. Lastly, there are whiskies I will mention today that will most certainly have an offering from that brand at a cheaper price point. It's not entirely about the price today, it's about how fine a whiskey you're going to get. Um, consider it bang for your buck for 35 euros or less. With that in mind, let's kick off the list, starting with blends. And in this part of the list, as you can imagine, there are going to be quite a few. Actually, this part of the list makes up more half of my total whiskies that fall under the value and packing a punch side of things. We're going value, think, punch, quality. First up, you'll see it on the screen, Bushmills Black Bush, an outstanding drop. Sadly, the worst part about this whiskey is it's only 40% ABV, but what it lacks in ABV, it makes up for in flavors. A lovely drop by all means, utilizing 80% malt and 20% grain in its DNA. Bourbon as well as sherry casks to be used in maturation and a bargain to be had from Super Value currently at the minute for 26 euro. Now, if you'd like an alternative to this and you're kind of sick of the Bushmills uh, Black Bush, try the Bushmills Caribbean Rum Cask Finish. I reviewed this here on the channel way back. Um, although I found it a touch on the sweet side myself, personally, many of my friends absolutely rave about currently and think I'm crazy. You can get it in super value for 25 euros. Malt and grain whiskeys finished for a period in rum casks, 40% ABV. Think original Bushmills Rum Casks. Dunville's 1808, a blend of malt, grain, and pot still whiskeys bottled at 40% ABV. If you like a whiskey with a touch of char in it, then this is your baby. Nice mouth coating, not a bad whiskey, and comes in at exactly 35 euros. Classic, Jameson Black Barrel, a classic blended whiskey from Jameson, full of butterscotch, vanilla sweetness. Again, yes, 40% ABV whiskey, but a firm favorite of whiskey lovers around the world. A quality drop and available basically everywhere. 35 euros. Now hint here, just as a kind of buy product here. If you want to spend an extra 20 bucks, get the proof version of this. It is absolutely outstanding. But this is my pick at the 35 euro price range. And uh, it did receive a double gold medal in the San Francisco World Spirit Competition. So it is an award winning Irish whiskey. Boom. The Tullamore Dew Caribbean Rum. I reviewed this last year at some stage, and while I wasn't hugely impressed by this whiskey, anyone I talk to and my friends think I'm a complete nut job for uh, not being a huge fan of it. Uh, I guess my palate is just a little bit off in that sense, but look, loads of rum flavors again, your sweetness. Basically, this is original Tully, okay, finished in hand selected casks of Caribbean Demerara rum. Uh, packing more of a punch, kind of coming in at 43% ABV, easy drinker, again, 35 euros. We're gonna move slightly on to the pot still category of whiskey where there are two that I have to mention, specifically my favorites. First up, 
And I absolutely love this whiskey, Three Swallows by Powers. Uh, this is the entry level pot still Irish whiskey from Powers Irish Whiskey. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, one of the best pot still Irish whiskeys on the market. Incredible value at 33 euros from Super Value at this time of year. 40% ABV, which is of course on the light side in my opinion, but finished in American bourbon and just a touch of sherry barrels. One of my go-tos when I'm looking to save a few euro or just enjoy a simple and beautiful whiskey. The Busker Single Pot Still. I reviewed this a very long time ago when it first came out and I had it again recently. Not a bad drop and I have found it for 35 euros before. At the time of this video, it is coming in uh, just a euro or two more, but I know for certain it can be found for 35 euros because I've had it for 35 euros. Um, it's the strongest of the lot in ABV wise at 44.3% ABV. Same setup as the Three Swallows, think bourbon and sherry barrels for maturation. Simple, easy drinker. Uh, none of these have any age statement, by the way, just so you know that for your own personal information. But yeah, Busker, single pot still. Oh, I have reviewed most, if not all, of these whiskeys on the channel. If you would like to know more about any of these, I'll leave all the links to the videos down below in the comment section or the information box, and you can check them out in your own time. You're welcome. Next up, some of my favorite kind of whiskeys, single malts, and the oldest age statement on the list. I reviewed this recently, the Tesco's finest 12-year-old single malt. This was a jaw-dropping whiskey for me. At 35 euros, it can't really be bet. I've revisited it a few times since my video review, and honestly, is it perfect? No, okay, it's definitely not, but worth a shot at 35 euro, all day, every day. Available only in Tesco's, it's a vatting of standard single malt from Cooley, vatted with PX finished older age statement single malt, also from Cooley, 43% ABV, and definitely worth a try. The Sexton single malt. Bushmills again here, hard to beat Bushmills really, I mean they generally do very good whiskies. The Sexton is no different. Triple distilled, single malt Irish whiskey aged exclusively in Oloroso sherry casks. Non-age statement, but there are whiskies in here up to eight years of age, I was told. 40% uh, ABV, downside to it, and in or around the 35 euro, either in Tesco's or Super Values right now. If you don't fancy this, you can always keep an eye out for a Bushmills 10 year old. They're usually on sale for between 35 to 40 bucks, and a great alternative if you don't like the Sexton, if you don't like too much Oloroso. Our 10th and final whiskey, one I did about a week ago. And it's the only single grain whiskey on the video today. The Puka seven year old single grain Irish whiskey from Blackwater Distillery, bottled exclusively for Aldi. Aldi Ireland, I should say. 40% ABV and a real elegant whiskey. Think lemon kind of citrus notes and honey for me on the palate. Not overly complex, just a very easy drinker. Mellow, approachable, single grain that is ridiculously priced at 29 euro 99. Incredible value and still available. I saw them in my Aldi stores only yesterday. So they're still out there. They're still here. So there you have it. 10 incredibly priced and super punching whiskeys that won't break the bank, but really deliver on what I think is quality. I stand by what I said in a previous video about great whiskey not having to be expensive. And I just blasted out 10 whiskeys that are great value, in my opinion. No brainers when it comes to value and quality. Now in the next couple of weeks, keep your eye on the channel, make sure you're subscribed. We might do another video down the road on some of my best whiskeys I've had on the channel since it started. Uh, I think we actually passed the two year anniversary of the channel recently, or it could be this week. I can't remember, but lots more to come. Cheers, of course, for tuning in. If you have any recommendations of your own you think I missed out on, or you think I should be in the video list, put them below. I love a little debate in the comment section, and it's always interesting to get others input from uh, other palettes, we'll say. As always, thanks to Christie's for the backdrop. Cheers for tuning in. I'll catch you all next week on Whiskey and Whiskey. I'm the Whiskey Chaser Brian. We'll chat soon. Sláinte.